to meet you. Hi. My name is Arena. Adam. I am a famous actress in Japan. So you're a famous actress here. You're like the Robert De Niro of Japan. Robert. Robert, Robert De, Niro. De Niro. Very famous actress. Yes, yes, yes. Or you're more like um, Robin Williams, maybe. Like, like. Yeah. I don't more, want to more. No, I don't. No. Okay. Hmm. Um, could I interject at this moment? Whatever you want. Uh, I do also want to add that I didn't have my usual approval yeah. over all the questions. I did not get a chance to look at them prior to this, and things might get to be downright, you know, uncomfortable, um, filled with controversy, yeah. um, and heated in here. So I just want to warn everybody that's possible. Don't you? Yeah. Do you concur? Yeah, I'm with you. Whatever. You, I didn't. Really, I wasn't paying attention when you were talking, but I'm with you, uh -huh. Mike. Mm. <laughs> Nathan Wind, Alessandro Allegra, and Vic Kafari from the hit series Sabotage. Actors who were real life undercover cops and actors. Come on, 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 Come Which is Adam, which is Michael? I'm Adam, he's Adam, and uh, he's I'm Michael. You're Michael. Now, we actually brought you an apple, but looks like during the performance it was dismembered. <laughs> Thank you. That's the kind of thing Pee Wee Herman would bring me. You ready? Yeah. Hi. Any special plan to have it work out, being having a two career marriage? Like, what do you mean? Like, I got a job and my wife's got a job? Right, yeah. <laughs> Hey. Action? No. Don't get, oh man, see? Oh, oh, see. <laughs> Just say action, dude. If your mother, like say your mother calls up and says, my friends are asking me what kind of music you play, what would you, how would you describe your music to her? Describe your style. I say, well mom, it's kind of a new jack swing with a <laughs> polka. So I was like, I don't need to hear it again. I've heard it a thousand times performing it. And so I just heard the song Sabotage. I'm like, why am I yelling at everybody? <laughs> like, Stop. Just take it down a notch. Dude, stop screaming at me. I, I don't I'm waiting for I barely years speak now. English. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh. Mike's on parole right now. That's a lie. And you know it. He decided we needed a tour bus, so we figured what better bus to get than Elvis Presley's bus. As you can see, can you pan around here? See, here's the, uh, this is the invented Velcro when Elvis got this. It's very nice, and you can see how plush the interior is. And here, can you call it, get a close-up on this? Yeah, that's some food that Elvis left for us. Okay, we're going to keep going back. Oh, here goes some, um, Elvis had his uh, feet up on here. And here, here's the bathroom. Which We'd like to show you the bathroom. Elvis, um, Elvis got busy a lot in this bathroom. There it is. It's very nice. It's still left over. You can see the ring, the ring around the toilet, and the plush carpeting on the walls. Okay, let's let's enough of that. And here's a closet. Here's, oh, there's a uh, here's some garbage and stuff. Here in this closet we have our videos, our movies, which uh, we watch. We have Nutty Professor and Fast Times. I wonder what kind of movie Elvis had on the bus. Okay, here we're going. I'm gonna keep going back. Here's the beds. Here's my bed right in here for all of you young ladies who'd like to know. You can see the um, sheets here. This was Elvis's bed right here. Elvis Presley had this bed, and that's why there's some like leftover napkins and stuff. We won't get into that. Why these boots are in Sean's bed, but we won't get into that either. There's Yauk's bed and Mike's bed, and there's some magazines in there. No, we won't go into the magazines that Mike has in his bed. Okay, we're going to keep going back here. This. Okay. And, oh, hey, dude. Hey, here's my buddies and partner. Here's MCA, he's cool in here. Have a brew, yuck. And there's Mike, and here we are. Come on back, here's the lounge. This is this is the lounge where uh, Elvis had a couple of wild and nutty parties back in here. Let me sort of get this in there. Elvis had a lot of you know, nutty parties like on this couch right here. I don't know why Mike's in here. Of course, the microwave is in the lounge for, Elvis did a lot of eating back in the days. We're watching golf here, and there's some there's nothing in the closets, but uh, this is our lounge, and we sort of have a lot of wild, nutty, uh, how could you say, uh, parties back here, Yuck? How would you phrase them? Just nutty, nutty, wild occasions. We got a tape player, and we just have have some brews and some girls. And how old are you? I'm 19. 19. I'm 12. In LA, they say did. They say like did and dud, dar did. You got b boys in LA? Yeah, but they say like I didn't know that. 
You know what? <laughs> I know they had b-boys in LA. Well, you know, they wear jerry Everybody curls. wear jerry curls out there. <laughs> They're not so much b-boys. <laughs> you wear jerry curls, you get no respect. But they, they say did out there in LA. They say, like, rod, did. We're cool. They say buggles. And it's like Marley and bitchin. It's your friends, isn't it, Julie? It's your it's friends. It's your friends. They say bitchin' and ride. They they say gnarly. Two two ninety eight oh one six five three Sierra Vista. It's a party. I've seen the chicks. They say get like five feet of air and get ride. You know? It's like you're getting vertical in a tubular pipe. Yeah, I was like smoking these three hits and I was about to blast off. It was ride. It was ride. Way cool. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever shot anyone? I'll kill a lot of people. Hey, what do you think your fans will be surprised to see uh, in this film? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what are they? <laughs> I don't know. The, uh, you know what? The, the one that we call window pane? Yeah. Challenge the new kids on the block to ultimate frisbee, but I don't know if they play. So you you guys have come a long way for rehearsing all the way in Amsterdam. Whose idea was that? Where are we? And the uh, the, the Grammy goes to it's kind of wrinkled up and stuff. Oh wait. Addicted to love, Robert Cover! And I basically just was a huge uh, thorn in the side of the whole thing. I laid down right in the tracks. He's a hothead. And but they just ran right over me. Right now. Okay, Mike, how do you feel right now? Just be blunt and candid. Angry. How are you? I'm angry and I'm I'm this close to jumping right over there. At me? Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. I think it's a good time to just let it out. This Tell is why, why I didn't want to sit in the middle. This is exactly why. What's up with that? We live with men, we work with men, and we sleep with men. And there's nothing wrong with that. Describe your new album. Sexy. Get warmed up. What you people want to know is that uh, if you're going to be making juice, you don't want to be messing around. Get some good carrots. Good. Gotta chop that puppy up now. Gotta chop it up. That'll fit in there. That's what I'm talking about. Now, what we're doing right now, that's beef. We're making the carrot and beef mixture. A little bit, not too much. Come on, Yao. Hey, hey, Yao. Easy on the ginger there. I like ginger. Mike just likes much ginger as I like. Just a little bit. Carrots, come on. Ginger, ginger's good for the immune system. Smell that ginger. Woo. Smell some puppies in there. Mike, I think we ought to be honest with ourselves here, Mike. You can, can you put the camera over here for a second? We have a confession to make. Mike, I want you to come clean with me here. We don't actually make the juice. I'd like to introduce, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Evan Bernard. He, we have a juice roadie. This is our juice <laughs> So, they want to know, what are you guys listening to? L7. L7? Here they are in the flesh. We're listening oh, to well, it. Well, you know what the toilet is? Uh, yeah, I'll pay you that five bucks later for saying that, Adam, okay? How's it going on Dorothy? I'll take the money now, young lady. <laughs> That's something that's tremendous. They're, they have a death wish, though, and that gets a little bit weird sometimes. Yeah? They're on a mission. Yeah. They're on a Well, actually, a lot of people don't know that I'm one of L7's dancers, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that I come out, I do, like, Running Man first. Then I do, like, you know, the Juanito dance. Are you squirting a thumb during this? And then, uh, one time in the river, I was there with Juanito. No, that's a whole other story. Okay. But, uh, we'll get back to it. Check out In Vogue for your mind. Pretty loose on stage, having a good time and all. When you guys do, you think that you'll cross over well in cities like any town, Iowa? Yes! 
Yes, I do. Are you excited about tour? Yeah, why? How long will your tour be? Do you like to tour? Yeah, why? Yes! <laughs> You opened for Madonna two years ago, eh? Go back to that question, yes. Are you excited about tour? I'm very excited about tour. I think we're talking about what? Six weeks of what? total partying. Ah! Yeah. Ah! Why? Just Wait. because. <laughs> How long will your tour be? About six weeks. We're talking six to seven weeks of total party. We're gonna go all across the nation. We're gonna rock the town. Party. Do you like the tour and why? Because it's a total party. Is it true you do all your own stunts? I do my stunts. I know that much. Hey.